numbers that are set to a one They're one here. One, a rate one, Begin. What's up, everybody? It's PJ the Great, and today got a little package in the mail. Really excited about this package. What this is, this is going to be a RAM upgrade for my 2010 Mac Pro. Right now, it's running 32 gigabytes of RAM and dual channel, so it's using all four RAM slots. What I have in this package right here is 48 gigabytes of RAM, but it's only in three sticks. So that means it's gonna be running in triple channel. <laughs> now I was thinking, you know, what, what's the reason? Why should I max out the RAM in this machine? I figured, you know, why not? Because it's an older machine, so the RAM is not really gonna cost me an arm and a leg, and then I'll probably offset the cost by selling the old RAM. And I was like doing a lot of research and I was figuring out that this particular machine, it runs in triple channel for RAM, but right now it's only running in dual channel because I have all four slots used. Now basically, what does that mean anyway? Okay, to sum it up, dual channel. Basically the way that dual channel works is you have your RAM inside of your computer and if it's running dual channel, then it can access RAM from two slots at a time so taking the 64 bit that runs in one slot doubling that and pulling it all at the same time now in order for a dual channel to work you'll have to have your ram installed in increments of two and then next is triple channel basically what triple channel is is your cpu is able to pull ram from three slots all at the same time so it's tripling that 64 that usually comes from one slot now, in order for a triple channel to work, you have to have your RAM installed in multiples of three. So, three slots, six slots, so on and so forth. And doing a little bit of research because, you know, that's the OCD side of me, just over researching stuff. I found out that the difference between operating your RAM in dual channel and triple channel is like only one to three percent which means that the average consumer is not really going to see the benefit and not really going to see a difference between running in dual channel or triple channel. So then I was like thinking to myself, then what's the point? Why even do it if I'm not even going to notice? And I almost didn't buy this RAM. But then I thought to myself, PJ, come on now. You're upgrading from 32 gigabytes of RAM to 48 gigabytes of RAM. So not only are you gonna see the increase from the additional 16 gigabytes of RAM, you're also gonna see an increase from going from dual channel to triple channel. It's a win-win situation. All right, so before we get started, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna share a Geekbench test with you guys. I'm gonna see how well this thing does in Geekbench with 32 gigabytes of RAM. And then after we see that, I'm gonna get these bad boys installed and then we're gonna do another Geekbench to see how well it scores with 48 gigabytes of RAM in that triple channel. All right, boys and girls, let's do a Geekbench. See my specs there. Mac Pro, made 2010, Xeon, 3680, 32 gigs of RAM. Okay, three minutes later, for you guys a second. Single core score is 2924. Multi-core score, 12,112. That's what we're looking at with the 32 gigabytes of RAM dual channel. And there's the memory score. 
33.23. All right, boys and girls. Let's install some RAM. These things have like heat sinks or something. My new RAM doesn't have this. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I present to you 48 gigabytes of RAM, triple channel. We have our 48 gigabytes of RAM installed. You can see it right there. Now it's time to do another Geekbench. See if we see any improvements. Lego. A few moments later. Single core score is 2753. Multi core score 10,662. Let's compare that to before the upgrade. All right, so something's going on because our score has dropped. <laughs> Before the upgrade, it was 2924 single core, and now it's 2753. And before the upgrade, multi core was 12,112. Now it's 10,662. Ooh boy. There's our memory score 3024. Now I can't remember what it was before. I'll put it on the screen though. Alrighty now, what have we learned? Okay, so we learned that I put in the 48 gigabytes of RAM and it seems like my Geekbench scores have dropped. So, I'm not sure what that's all about. I mean, I've been seeing all over the place that you can max this thing out to 48 gigabytes of RAM. So, I didn't know that there was a caveat that your Geekbench score drops. At the end of the day, I'm really not gonna worry about it. Two reasons why I'm not gonna worry about it. I've been working on this guy all day today and I'm still working on it. In the background while I was doing the Geekbench test, I'm actually loading up my OneDrive folder to the hard drive inside. So that could have had some kind of effect on the score. I'll try it again when this is all said and done, but it's gonna be running for a while. Another thing is, it's like you really can't go by like these tests, like the Geekbench test, or if you're doing the hard drive, the Black Magic test. It's all about real world tests. So we'll see if I see a difference in the real world. Like when I'm using Final Cut Pro, or I'm editing photos, or I'm just using the computer in general to surf the web, work on documents. Turn it on the computer, turning it off, opening up apps, yada, yada, yada. I'll see if I actually notice a difference and I'll keep you guys posted too. Not trying to justify the lowest score. I'm just saying if I see a difference in the real world, I'm not even going to worry about the Geekbench test. I'm not even going to sweat it. Either way, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's right at the bottom of the video. And there's a purple box down here somewhere too that you can click on. Subscribe, but don't forget to click that bell so you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And I wanna hear from you guys. 
How many of you out there actually have an old Mac Pro? Have you tried a RAM upgrade before? Have you tried to go up to 48 gigabytes of RAM? Have you noticed like a difference, like a positive difference or a negative difference? Let me know in the comment section down below because I want to hear from you because I just did it. So I don't know. I haven't pretty much used it yet. So your comments and your opinions will be appreciated. Until I see you next time with another tech video or a vlog or a docu-vlog, this is PJ the Great saying Audi 5000G. I really hope this upgrade was worth it.